The following question is about the combustion of methane and ethane. And the question states that there is a mixture of 10 cm cube methane and 10 cm cube of ethane and was part with an excess of oxygen. So that means uh, complete combustion is taking place. So that's the first part. And we need to come up with balanced equation of the combustion of methane and ethane. So you have CH4 and it's going to react with oxygen and it will produce a uh, carbon dioxide and two molecules of H2O and to balance oxygen we need uh, we need two oxygens over here because there are four oxygens on the left hand side and ethane is going to be C2H6 having two carbon atoms it reacts with oxygen O2 and it would end up produ it would produce two CO2s plus it's going to produce three H2Os so to balance the oxygen there are four oxygens over here three over there seven oxygens so that's a total of 3.5 oxygen gas molecules. Now what the question wants is after cooling to room temperature the residual gas was passed through aqueous potassium hydroxide. So it's passed through potassium hydroxide. Now remember potassium hydroxide is an alkali and what does an alkali do? It reacts with acidic things. So the only gas that is present in the in the reactants or the products is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide remember is an acidic gas so so this alkaline uh, KOH is going to react with, reacts or absorbs carbon dioxide gas. So all gases are volume, uh, were, volumes were measured at same temperature and pressure. What volume of gas was absorbed by the alkali? So he's basically talking about the carbon dioxide gas that is being absorbed because that's the only acidic gas that would be absorbed by this alkali. So we're going to start solving this question and we have to figure out the amount of carbon dioxide gas that is produced. Now, um, methane is 10 cm cube in the, in the question and ethane is also 10 cm cube. Now one thing that you must know is that for gases, mole ratio and volume ratio is exactly the same. One mole of methane gas produces one mole of CO2 gas. So the ratio is 1 ratio 1. So the volume ratio is also going to be exactly the same. So if you have 10 cm cube of methane, 10 cm cube of CO2 gas would be produced. And in a similar manner, uh, mole ratio of uh, gases and volume ratio is exactly the same. So for ethane, if you have 10 cm cube, it's 1 ethane produces 2 CO2s. So 10 cm cube would produce, according to that ratio, would produce 20 cm cube gas. So finally, we figured out uh, what, how much, what amount of gas would be produced by both methane and ethane. So what we are only interested in is the amount of carbon dioxide gas that is produced, which in this case is going to be equal to the total volume of carbon dioxide gas that would be produced is going to be 30 cm cube. And it is this amount of gas that is going to be absorbed by the alkali because this is an acidic gas. So the answer to this question is going to be option C.